if you guys ever experienced, but you know, you see that that truck or that tractor on the side of the road and you know, it's tore up and you think, I can fix that, you know, save a, a lot of money. Ain't nothing we can't fix. So that's kind of what happened to my brother here. He was uh, looking for a tractor and we've got uh, one of these. This is a 5140 and uh, we love the engine zone, like everything about them. And we'd seen this tractor for years sitting on the, next to the road. And uh, we talked to the guy and asked him if he'd be interested in selling. And he said, well, yeah, he'd sell it. Said he was out feeding one day with it and he heard a pop and he just coasted down, parked it there and it sat there for a few years. So we bought the tractor, we thought we bought it um, cheap enough that we could come in and fix it and have a good tractor for a good price. So what it, what it was, we could bring the tractor in, crank it right up, we could fill the shift packs going through one, two, three, four. When you would have it running, you could hear the engine lugging and unloading, loading. And so we knew we was getting power through the back of the engine, through the, the shift packs on the top. And what our theory on it was is that this shaft was broke because the tractor wouldn't move. We brought it in, the tractor would not move. Um, we had hydraulics, but we didn't move. So our theory was is that this shaft was broke going back into your range box. So we thought if we split it here, uh, first off, we did split on the front just to make sure there was nothing on the front. We thought, well, worst case scenario, we can just roll the transmission out and, um, you know, check everything while we're into it. One thing we didn't know about before we split it is this cover. Once we got in deep enough to it, we, we seen this cover here and you could look in there and definitely see if you had anything spinning from your packs back to the transmission. That would be a good spot if you're having problems to take this cover off and check there first. If you did that, then you would not have to split the transmission to the engine mount here. You would come back here and split from the transmission. It's not really that, it's this piece over there with the, the lube pump on it, okay? Um, so yeah, once we got into it, it just, it just kept snowballing. We just kept finding things. Um, finding things that kept taking us deeper into it. So the packs were great. Everything looked good up there, good clean oil. We know it's dirty. We thought we was gonna have a simple split, so we didn't really put a lot of extra time to clean it. Looking back now, we would have definitely spent probably two or three hours, you know, hot pressure washing this thing off. Um, so anyway, when you come in here, if I can see this or not, if I get enough light on it, that was loose. I was letting that unload off that main bearing. That's not supposed to be that way. And that was letting play come all the way back through here. All the gears um, and bearings back here look good. But we found, we got back into here, that the, uh, the nut on the pinion shaft was loose. So we took a bore scope through. We had the cab up on top of the transmission, the wheels still attached to both sides. We took a bore scope through that hole and looked up into the pinion and it was chewed up. So that meant that we had to go ahead, pull the axles to get to this rear end. And we just got it separated tonight. And you can see the ring gear here. It's chewed up, it's not near as bad as the pinion. And I'll try to get a better shot of that once we get everything out of the way. But it's chewed up. So we've had to order us a, a new pinion, a ring opinion set put into it. And um, but there's not a lot of videos on these tractors. You can research and look for them. And there's little tidbits here, little tidbits there. Uh, you can see your planetaries there. What we've done, we just made, we just kept making brackets. These tires are still filled with fluid. You can see here we've had a rainy day and you can see the condensation line where the fluid's at. And we just ran a bar back to a post to keep the thing from tipping over. It made us a stand to hold the, the rear end here. Here's part of your packs. This come out of the front of the transmission. Part of that is also your emergency brake. This is, this is your friction disc for your emergency brake. In your cam, cam that activates that. Um, that's part of your front cover. This is the first thing you're going to see when you take your engine away from your transmission. You'll see these two uh, pumps there. 
And then you have this cover here. When you get on that second split, that's your lube pump. And that's pretty deep. And that's a kind of a, you read about that issue that the lube pump causes some issues with the shifting of the transmissions and whatnot. So, but when we did all of our pressure tests, we did do that before we broke it down. Everything was perfect. Uh, the tractor's only got 4,800 hours on it. Um, and the man, he'd bought it, and those are honest hours. He'd ran it for a while, but he'd had it worked on two or three different times. And these things are just not that easy to, they're not that easy to break down. Um, there's a lot of pieces going to be taken out of the way. You can see we've made stands. Um, we've had to take the cab off. Uh, and it just it just keeps leading one thing after another. But I do think, I do think we're finally at a point now that um, we can start buying pieces to put back on and uh, start putting everything back together. So anyway, I'll try to keep some videos posted. Um, if you have any questions, anything you want to see while this thing's broke down, I will do my best to get you a video of it. Um, these are your brakes at your right side. They fit up into here. Most of you guys are going to know this. But some other ones. I just want to see how things look when you take something off. Maybe it's of some use to you. But anyway, until then, hope you enjoy.